Welcome to Florida Beach Walks. I'm Roxanne. Today I am walking down memory lane to one of my favorite East Coast beaches. I absolutely fell in love with this beach a few years ago after the first time I was here. John D. MacArthur Beach State Park, located in Palm Beach County, is a beautiful 1.6 mile stretch of preserved beach and the only state park in Palm Beach County. A true environmental treasure. This walk is from my second time here with my family and we sure did find a lot of amazing seashells and sea glass, including some really beautiful lion paw shells, which are my favorite. Join me, let's walk MacArthur State Park. You know that feeling that you get when you're at a place that you absolutely love? I can't describe it, but it's just that feeling. I got that from my very first time here, even with this long boardwalk out to the beach. This estuary, look at this, it's so beautiful. You can actually kayak here too, which I haven't in all the years that I have been here, but I definitely want to at some point. I love shelling here. Although it is a hit or miss with shells, I've been here several times when there's hardly anything to look at shell-wise. Other times, I can hardly see the sand in some areas. So I try to plan my trips here according to the wind and waves and come at about mid to the dropping low tide. If there has been strong winds from a storm or just a crazy windy day or even a few windy days, and really rough wave action. I like coming a couple days after when the waves have calmed down and that tends to push up more seashells on the beach in my experience over here and for a lot of East Coast beaches. So I really pay attention to the wave heights and the wind speed and not just low tides because if the waves and the wind are too crazy, it does not matter if you come at low tide or not. The waves are just too strong and they just suck out everything with it. Here we are at the end of the boardwalk and it is going to be a great day of shelling. There were lots of shell piles to shuffle through. It was just perfect. The weather was great and we had a wonderful day of shelling. We'll start off with some sea glass. This area is also really good for collecting glass. And I see a speckled crab shell over here. Look at all those spots. Such a pretty pattern. <laughs> Connor found a bottom of a bottle. Oh, see, it's the letter P. It's going to be a perfect day. All right, let's check out these shells. There are a lot of bittersweets, pretty typical for this area. There's an olive, we'll leave that there. And a piece of a helmet. There are helmets around this area. My daughter Skylar, she found some green sea glass. Pick up this brown one. Oh, wow, that's cool. Watch out, feel the light. <gasps> wow. I'll take a picture of it in there. Take a picture. Did dad take a picture? Wow. It's a Coke bottle. Oh, wow, very good, Connor. <gasps> very good, huh? <laughs> good job, bud. Good job, flip it over. Oh, Flip it over one more time and keep it still. Good job, bud. I definitely have to pick up my lion paw pieces. I love the colors in these and I'll even pick up the tiny ones. Look at that beautiful red and orange. So nice. 
a beautiful shark eye moon snail Connor's got here. Very nice size. And we do find a lot of these on this trip. And these scotch bonnets too. They were pretty plentiful. I've actually been to the beach here when we have found hundreds and you just can't pick them all up. Oh, weird. It's one of the big ones. I've seen the little tiny ones. I've never seen one that big. Like this? Oh, yeah, they're just really big. I'll grab this scotch bonnet too, sitting over here looking all cute. It's a nice one. Little tiny hole in the apex, but that's all right. An apple murex. It's a little chipped on the lip, but I don't see these too much over here, so I'll hang on to it. And here's half of a glass bottom. Oh, here's a really pretty kind of green teal color. That is really nice. Look at those smooth round edges. Beautiful. And here's a hamburger bean. I think this one is more on the brown side. They do come in a brown and a red variety. Although, I don't know. Towards the sun, it looks red. Wow. Wow, that's huge, Connor. Wow. Let's see what we got in this little pile. A broken piece of a giant bittersweet clam. We love it when the zigzag chevron pattern, when they're little. Oh, piece of a helmet breaks my heart. Man, that would have been a good size one too. What else? It's like bittersweet heaven. Look at all of these. Ooh, there's the tip of a queen conch. It's amazing what you miss when you watch these videos back. It's like you get to shell twice. Another shark eye, tiny little guy. He has a red eye. A lettered olive shell. I'll go ahead and leave this one here. It's got a hole in it. Let's grab this one. Yeah, this looks nice. Has its tip and all. I have been able to find full grader olives here also, or blingy olives. And if you would like to see some me finding a lot of blingy olives, there is a Phipps Park dredging videos, part one and two, that had lots of those kind of olives in it. And it was really fun. Here's our second hawkwing conch find for the day. A little bit smaller than the one Connor found earlier and a lot lighter, but I love this color. I absolutely love the water here. It's always so clear and beautiful. And on a still day when the wave height is like between zero and three feet, it is just a tropical paradise. Connor. Good job. Flip it over. That's good. 
Flip it over real slow. Okay, stop. That's pretty. Daddy's gotta get weight, Connor. All right, Dad, grab that side in here. I'll grab it with this hand. If you grab that, and I'll grab this, and Connor can yank it. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's broken a little bit. That's okay. Cool, bud. Let me see. See its other half? <laughs> Wait till the water gets clear. Move see? it, like all the way over. No, honey, we can't. Oh my goodness. Any more ones? Oh, that's a good job, bud. Cool. So we throw the other ones in the rock? Here's a surf-worn chestnut laterus. And a small striped false limpet. All these shells, you don't even see the sand. The shell hunt is on. Oh, look at this neurite. Okay, this is a checkered neurite. And they like to hang out on rocks and tide pools. Such a cool design. It's little teeth in its aperture there. Very unique. What do you see? I see a scotch bonnet. <laughs> it's so easy to miss shells with all this to look at. Here is a dark serif. Another lighter colored striped limpet. 
they also hang out with the neurites on the rocks. Here's the tinted canthus. I like the caramel color on these. Okay, I see this scotch bonnet. Nice pattern on the outer lip. Ooh, a coffee bean trivia. I like these. These are a type of false calorie. These are so cute and they don't get much bigger than this. grab some more sea glass. Here's another chestnut lattice. This one doesn't look as worn as the one I found before. Yes, that is weird. That is a J, baby, on our coast. Why? Oh, here's a really nice paw. That is a nice red. It's okay. I'll pick up this nutmeg. Yeah, the tip is missing, but I'll keep it. It is an alphabet cone. It's a bit beat up, but hey. Ooh, well, good job, buddy. Here's a beautiful nutmeg my husband just found, tip and all. Are you kidding me? A Sazone's cone. This is a very nice, rare find. Absolutely love this cone. A green star shell and a really worn out lace murex I believe it's so worn down that I'm not actually sure a deltoid rock snail shell it's empty just a little shell stuck in its aperture I don't know I guess not. <gasps> look at that well, mine was a little better. what's my bigger what's my bigger A cowrie. All right, well, the top of a measled cowrie. Look at these two pretty paws and a pretty large green star shell. A sundial. These are just so cool. I remember the first one I found was in Hope Sound and I didn't know what it was and I was looking up I found circle a shells, shell circles. This is way before I had a shell book. Look. Leave it to Connor. This kid is a great sheller. Oh. That's big, Connor. My sweet tiny lion's paw. It's so cute. <gasps> yep, I just saw that. Connor and I spotted this Atlantic hairy triton at the same time. When they are alive, they are covered by fine hairs. Let me see it. Show it. Connor's term of excitement this day was the word jelly. So yes, that was exciting paw to find. Here is a gold mouth triton. This is the only one I have ever found. This is the first and so far the only one. And I did not give that enough camera time. So here is an after shot of a close up of this one. This shell is absolutely amazing. Such a beautiful gold color in the aperture with those white teeth. 
As if the shells couldn't get any better. Here's a Caribbean vase shell. I mean, why not? <laughs> This is absolutely beautiful. Sometimes when you find these, oh, this is a little juvenile one, but when you find them larger, the mature ones, they're covered in periostracum, which is like a dark outer skin, and they bleach up really well. Perfect. Is your leg feeling just a little better? I know. A lightning whelk. It's just, it wasn't frosted on one side. I know. Come on. We just found a Caribbean vase shell. What? Caribbean vase shell? Yeah, they're rare. No, I got Poor Skylar, she was begging to go back to where we had set up our beach stuff, but I was like, the shells are just getting better. We can't leave. <laughs> I really enjoy at low tide looking at or looking through the rocks here at MacArthur. Some of the rocks have gotten covered up because of sand renourishment project they had a little while ago north of the park, but little by little more of the rocks show over time. Oh wow, this is a whopper of an olive, the same length as my fingers, and my hands are really large. Can you spot it over there? A lion's paw. Now this one is pretty stained, but it's still really nice. And a beautiful, shiny, dark lettered olive. This one's really nice. Probably the best one of the trip. I spy something royal blue. A little triangle of sea glass. I do not find the royal blue ones that often, so this is really special find for me. And just a little ways up, I find another one. This time it's a bit bigger, still nice and frosted, beautiful round corners. I couldn't believe it. This is nice. Two blues in a row. Can you see that sea glass twinkling in there? Right over here. It just sparkles when the sun hits it just the right way. That's a nice light green. What else is in these rocks? The bottom of a bottle. <laughs> that one is wedged in there. Let's wiggle it out. I have spent many a time pulling and wiggling and shuffling things out of these rocks. Our lovely shell finds from this trip. I love my sundial and all of the lion's paw shells that we found. Connor, hands down, did an amazing job collecting those. The Suzone's cone and the Caribbean vase were my favorites next to the paws. Oh, and that gold mouth triton, that was pretty special. This goes down as one of the nicest shelling trips that we've had as a family. I love it here at MacArthur State Park.
thank you for watching and a special thank you to all who have been subscribing to this channel and commenting. I really appreciate it and enjoy communicating with you. Till next time, happy shelling and I leave you with this.